Midterm fever grows as candidates across the country ramp up campaigning and face off in debates. That's right. President Biden announced his first priority if Democrats keep the majority will be to codify Roe v. Wade while Republicans continue to hold and hammer the inflation card. NBC's Drew Petromill reports from Washington. The first bill that I will send to the Congress will be to codify Roe v. Wade. With control of Congress in the balance, Democrats, including President Biden, making their priorities clear should voters keep them in power. In heated debates like this one for U.S. Senate in Florida, Democrats highlight their support for abortion rights and Republican opposition. You have been clear that you support no exceptions, even including rape and incest. Now, as a police detective who investigated cases of rape and incest, no, Senator, I don't think it's okay. But there are signs the abortion issue could be fading as voters worry about the economy. Very, very few women actually go uh, and get an abortion, but every woman is going to the grocery store, is going to the gas pump. A new poll shows 44% of likely voters say the economy or inflation are the number one problem the country is facing, while just 5% list abortion as their top issue. The economy, a main focus for Republicans. These Democrat incumbents are the ones who voted for the American Rescue Plan that brought us inflation. With gas prices rising this year, President Biden is releasing 15 million more barrels of petroleum from the nation's strategic reserve to help lower gas prices. Our oil reserves do not exist to win midterms. They exist to help this country in an emergency or in the midst of a storm. Hot button issues and high stakes races taking place reflected in early voting turnout thus far. Georgia is seeing record numbers this week with contentious battles for governor and U.S. Senate. President Biden trying to drive home that message that Democrats are leading on the economy. He will speak today about the bipartisan infrastructure plan he signed into law last year. He says that will create millions of jobs over the next 10 years. Drew Petromo, NBC News.